Hello everyone, Danai here from Danai's Electrical Services and in today's video, I will be showing you how to tell when your breaker is stripped and how to reset it. Here we have a mini breaker panel that is in a very devastating state but I am not responsible for this so please, in the word of Adele, take it easy on me. Right? This is not my job and I am not responsible for this in any ways. Anyways, so this is our breaker in its normal state. This is our main coming in, right? And this is our main breaker. This control everything else coming to our sub breakers, right? So this is the normal state. This is all the way to the right and all of these are all the way to the left, right? The lever for the breaker should always be pushed forward to this direction, right? That the wire is coming from. So the wire is coming from here. In the on state, the breaker is pushed forward. The breaker lever is pushed forward to this direction. That is when we know it is on, right? So this is the normal state of the breakers when they are in the on position, right? So this is it, remember. This is it in the normal state. What I'm going to do, because as you know, I always do crazy things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a fault on one of these circuits. I don't know which one as yet, but I'm going to generate a fault. And then I will show you what the breaker look like, looks like when you trip and how to reset it. All right, so we have here, this is a short circuit that is created from our between our live and our neutral, right? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Please guys, don't attempt to reciprocate what you see me doing here. I am a trained professional, right? So I'm going to plug this in, thus creating a short circuit, which is going to cause our breaker to trip. Hopefully our breaker is working correct, or it's working good because if our breaker is not working good, that can cause an electrical fire. Anyways, let me plug this in. yep and i hear my breaker tripping just now so i'm gonna plug that out and let's go back to our breaker and see what happens now we are back and i think you guys can already see which one of our circuit or which one of our breaker tripped right this is it this is the one this 20 amp breaker right here right so in order to reset this breaker what you're going to do is good is that you're going to push it in the off position first because by right if you push it in the on position like that you will think it is on but it's actually not on right you have to first it's still in the trip position currently now you have to first put it in the off position right so now we turn it off and after we turn it off then we can turn it on and now it is on our breaker is resetted or reset or whatever it is my english is not the best anyways so that is how you reset a breaker first you have to put it push it in the off position and then the on position right when the breaker is stripped it's somewhere in the middle right that is how you identify a trip breaker it is somewhere in the middle but you can't just push it on you have to turn it off and then on and that is how you reset a breaker right and if you push that breaker on and you trip again immediately or shortly after at this point you need to call an electrician because it means that the fault still exists and the faults need to be isolated before you can go ahead and reset your breaker. Yep, so that is it. That is how you know when your breaker is in the trip position and how to reset it. And this was another video brought to you by Daniel's Electrical Services. For this and similar videos, please feel free to subscribe to my channel at Daniel's Electrical Services. 
थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू